Hello, this is Graham from Graham Phones and the uh, Restoragram website. Uh, on my Restoragram website, there are a number of videos now on servicing Garrard and HMV motors. Uh, and a vital part of servicing any motor is the final stage of, of calibrating the speed. Now, initially, when I started to uh, restore gramophones, I set the speed by taking a reading from uh, a playing record on the turntable. Um, obviously, you know, it, it seemed to me at the time that the, the sound box was going to create drag on the record surface and the weight of the, the sound box were going to have a negative effect on speed. So that seemed the, the sensible place to do it. However, particularly with HMV portables, it really was an inconvenience because you had to keep stripping down everything, removing the turntable in order to get at the uh, at HMV system of adjusting speed. So I gradually, in a way, cut corners and found that my cutting of corners w was not necessarily producing overly bad results. Um, so much so that, that I now set the speed of a gramophone purely on the spindle. Now, purists would say, oh, you can't possibly do that. There is going to be drag. Well, in order to prove that there isn't all that much drag, I have done two sets of tests. The tests are simply to play a record and test the speed of the turntable. Not to play a record, but to allow the turntable to spin and test the speed. And finally, to test the speed, measure the speed of the, uh, of the motor without a turntable in position. Now, I did these three tests on two machines. The first was an HMV 163, uh, which having a large 32 motor with a double spring, I thought, well, that may give me, um, it might, may give me results that are not typical. And so I did the second set, set of tests on, uh, on a 101J, a BR101J from 1929, which I took out of my collection and serviced last year. By the way, the, the 163 was serviced, well, when I, well, 12 months, uh, January 2015, I did that one. So the, 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 both the sets of tests have been done on machines that are well serviced. Their motors have, have been serviced, their sound boxes have been, have been serviced and tuned. They are playing nice, clean records and they're using nice new needles. Um, but let's have a, a look at what the results were of those sets of tests. And I think they will confirm why certainly I think that we can be oversensitive when it comes to setting the, the, the speed of a, of a turntable. I believe we can get accurate enough results purely by measuring the speed of the spindle. Anyway, let's have a look at those tests. So the first test I'm going to get or set of tests that I'm going to carry out are on uh, my HMV 163. Now bear in mind this has got a number 32 motor, a really powerful motor. What I'm going to do are the three tests. I'm going to test the speed with the, uh, the, the, the turntable under load, the motor under load by playing a record. Then I'll do this, a similar test, but without the record under load. And finally, I will do a test without the turntable in place. As I've said, and certainly at least one of my speed calibration videos, how I set the speed of, uh, I think it's mainly HMV portables, without the turntable in place. So let's have a go. Let's do a, a speed comparison with those three scenarios. I'm going to set the, going to set the record playing. And I've got a, a disc in the centre with the light reflective tape from which I'm going to take a reading. And there's our first reading. With the turntable on the load, it's revolving at a speed of 78.2 rpm. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. <clears throat> remove the record pop back the disc and let's start that sequence off again okay so let's have a look what our 
turntable speed is without any load. 78.2 RPM. Now I think that proves that particular point on, the, on this particular machine, that there's no variation. I've mentioned, however, in one uh, HMV, um, oh, sorry, in one speed calibration uh, video, that I take a reading purely on the spindle speed, mainly on HMV portables, because it's necessary with an HMV portable to adjust the speed by moving a plate that's situated below the turntable. Therefore, to make it more convenient, it, it's easier to read the speed at the spindle. But of course, that only makes sense if there isn't a significant difference in the speed between purely when the spindle is turning on without any load and later on with the turntable and maybe a record in place. So I'm going to switch off at that point because I'm going to just remove the turntable and you're going to have to trust me. I'm not going to fiddle with anything. But, uh, when we test the speed at the spindle, it will be purely on that same wind of the motor and without me having done anything to the speed control down at the bottom of the, uh, the edge of the turntable down here. OK, so I'll see you in a second. So here we are back again, this time with the turntable off, with the disc revolving um, on the spindle. And now let's see what the speed of just the spindle is going to be. And we've got a reading of 78.6. As you can see, there is no significant, we've got a difference actually on all those three readings of about 0.4 RPM which is not significant at all. Now, I maintain that you can set the speed using the readings from the spindle or even you know, if you want to with just the turntable under load. But th there, are, there are conditions to getting accurate readings at, that, on, on, at those uh, situations. And those conditions are that the sound box is well set up, that the needle is new, that the record is clean, and that the spring is clean and the motor is, is well set up, and particularly that the motor is, is a good strong one. OK, so we've done the tests with the, uh, with, with the cabinet model, the HMV163. I've dug out and uh, I've, I've dug this out at random. This is a, uh, from my collection, this is a, a 101 from 1929, a 101J. Um, so let's do the same three tests on this portable that we did on the 163. So I'm going to set the, the record revolving and let's take a reading. Okay, with the record on and under load we had a reading of 78.4. Let me remove the record. Now let's see what we've got when there is no loading. And there we go. Let me get that into focus. So without a record, it's 78.6 so it's gone up 0.2 now let's do the test that we did before and remove the turntable so as before I'm just going to switch off and remove that turntable and then we'll carry on with the tests okay so now we've got just the the spindle speed we've got the spindle revolving and we've got uh, no turntable in place so I'm going to take a reading here and we've got a reading of 78.5. So I'm not going to say any more. Um, I think that, that proves what I've been saying all along, that actually you can take a reading there and on a well-maintained machine, you will have an insignificant difference between that and the final speed of the record under load. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it enjoyable and um, I hope you'll come back again sometime and see me some more. Bye bye.